Hi everyone, it's Anya here. I'm back with another video for Ophelia Crafts. So today we are making this card and once again we are using the same things from the uh, Get Stamping pack. So it's a pack of materials that I'm promoting for the month of January. So it's these markers, the pens, um, included is this petite petal punch and also another punch um, but we're not using those uh, today this is a little bit um, different um, but I am assuming that you've got a couple of things as well um, and also we have the note cards uh, and envelopes in that pack um, uh, in the previous videos I have made other cards uh, for this pack as well and I thought I would complete the set with two more pink ones. So then we have two um, um, baked brown sugar and coastal cabana. And then two um, strawberry slush and... Um, oh, the name escapes me. Pistachio pudding, right? So this is a card that I have designed and I love it. It's really, I think it's really sweet. Okay, there is a little bit of technical stamping involved. But I think um, I should be able to show you quite quickly and also I should be able, you should be able to recreate that at home. Now the reason why um, we're doing this is because it's a celebration. So for every £50 that you spend you get to choose a free exclusive stamp set from January to March 2015. And this is a stamp set that comes with all the packs. So the pack is then um, a pack basically that you can just open and start stamping. You've got everything there. This is a little bit a more advanced card, um, but I, you could also stamp this straight on the card and then um, put the uh, ribbons over it and uh, go ahead like that. So let's get started on how I made this card. First of all, we're going to do the difficult thing and that's the um, stamping on the circle. So I have got here, don't worry, I've got it halfway done, but I'm just going to show you how to get started on this. I punched out the circle first because I needed to see my surface. What I did then was I took off my ring and I put it in the middle because I needed a circle that was quite small. I couldn't find anything else. So I put it in the middle. You can measure it, but just for the sake of the video, I'm not going to measure it now. And I drew the circle inside of my ring. Okay. Then I've got that little stamp. That stamp, I mean, I have used that. Unbelievable. Um, it's my favourite, my absolute favourite stamp. There's so much you can do with this. Um, so let's colour it in, in two colours. In one of my next tutorials, I will be making a box for these cards. So watch out for that, because that box is lovely. Anyway. <laughs> right. Um, now... I have worked out that actually my sticker is higher than my flower on there, right? So I have to put it higher than where I want the flower. The flower will be lower from where I can see it. So I have to put the edge of the stamp on the edge of the pencil there. So I'm going to do that. So it's lower, so I need to go like that. See? There you go. And I do them like that all the way around. First of all, 12, 3, 6 and 9 o'clock. Okay. Then, 1, 2, 3. Then that's sort of in between there. So let's do another one. Um, just to show you how it works. And then I'll continue on another one because I have done one that's nearly ready. Okay, so then at 3 o'clock. There we go, see? And, I mean, you know, this is what we're, we're doing. We, we stamp. So, um, here we are. This is a one that I've completed further. So, I will now... So, I've done the 6 and the 9 o'clock. And then I went in between there. And now I'm going to do one in each one. Oh, that seems a lot, though. Oh, I'll have to be, be, rush a bit. Mm, I thought I would be doing less. Seems to me a lot now that I'm thinking about it. Um, yeah. See, and then you go in between. So that's what we want to get. I'll just continue doing this. Um, I'll just tell you about the uh, Get Stamping Club. So um, hopefully... Uh, concentrate? Yeah. I um, 
I'm going to every month I would like to do a club and if you want to buy into it you can just mail me and we are going to I'm going to make sure that you can concentrate yeah with the help of my tutorials the products that you will buy during that um, month you will be able to get stamping when you open the box Sorry, I need to concentrate when I stamp. When you open the box, when it arrives at your home, you'll be able to open it up and get basic things. For example, your blocks, some glue, scissors and some white paper. Um, and you'll be able to do things. Obviously, this cutting out this will require you to have the stamp, the punch. But then I might be including that in a, in, in a further... A month so you'll be able to go back to your things that you already had and then make this um, this card so you know I'll, I'll after a couple of months after a couple of months of doing this you will have so much so many things that you'll be able to do a lot of cards a lot of techniques um, the first three months that we're going to do this each month will be for 50 pounds so I'm doing this for um, UK obviously to start with and um sorry need to concentrate one more and um the first three months are going to be 50 pounds the other months i'm going to try and do it less but it's celebration you see so for every 45 pounds that you spend you will get an extra st a, st a free stamp set you will get something from this catalog so it's worth doing that because you then have the stamp set for free so I could give you more stuff and then you have an extra stamp set so anyway uh, right so we did it that wasn't too long was it so now we are going to stamp the greeting and I've chosen your simply wonderful uh, this is a simply wonderful stamp set I love it and let's see if we can put it on that quite gently There we go. Right now, let's. And with using the pens, it means you have the uh, colours. Okay, you have to. Oh, this is a bit skew if actually. Oh, let's draw it again. Okay, you have to ink up your stamps like this, you know, by colouring them. But to be honest, it's, it is quite quick and um, you get used to it. But also, let me just look at it now. that's better but also it means it takes up less space you've got more colors you're taking up less space with, with your um, with your ink pads and also you can actually re-ink these pens so you can still buy the re-inkers and re-ink the pens and that I think is always good news because you know I believe in buying um, in buying the stamp the ink pads with the re-inkers immediately with it so let me just put the card there so I can see what I've done because it's um, sometimes when I'm talking I forget what I'm supposed to be doing. Right, this is a card base. It's five by three and a half. It's one of the note cards. And quite uh, differently from what we're used to, we're actually going to start by adhering the ribbon in the middle. So let's... Let's do some gunk that gunge there. Right, okay. Make sure you get to the edges. And it goes in the middle of the card. I don't know whether this is the middle. I'm just eyeing it really. Is it straight? Is it not? It'll be alright. Then we have, so this one is a one inch strip, so that's five by one inch this is a uh, three quarters of an inch by uh, five Th these are my strips that I always use I always use a one inch and a three quarters of an inch strip I think that that's a nice size then we have our circle we're going to remove the pencil mark I didn't do it earlier because I wanted to the ink to dry properly and you do need to wait a little bit because you don't want it to be smeared then we are going to get some 
dimensionals. That's probably too many, but never mind. I like a few dimensionals. I don't know whether you've noticed, but on this card is also that particular flower that I have been putting on everything lately. Everything in this project, anyway. Um, so I have already made one because it takes quite a, a little while. Um, I used two of Petite petal, Petals and one of the uh, Itty Bitty Accents uh, Flower Punch. So if you want to see how I made this, please go and look at my other videos. Um, you'll see. Right, so now I'm going to just have a quick try yeah okay so I need to cut some off I have already put some glue on because I want some glue on the end here but not here so I'm going to just simply try and fold the simply <laughs> and I'm going to put it down so it looks like it's up a bit so it's sort of something underneath there okay then we have our leaves hang on a minute let me see yeah and let's put a tiny a tiny bit of glue that's too much anyway look this is what I do if it's like this I just wipe it over with the other one and it'll catch some glue and that's enough so this one goes down like that and this one which now has glue as well comes up like that and then the flower goes onto here. Okay, just push it down. And the last thing I need are my rhinestones. And I'm just putting. Did I cut in everything just now? No. I'm just putting three rhinestones next to each other on the bottom there, on the of the on the bottom of the ribbon. These rhinestones at the bottom are attached, so they're already spaced out, so it's quite easy to um, to, oh, to adhere them, she says, and then she puts them on skew if. Oh dear, it's not so easy. Okay, so here we are, yet another card. Um, okay, yes, the technique of uh, stamping the circle is a little bit more intricate, but then, you know, if you're enjoying stamping, if you want to have a challenging, um, um, you know, stamping session, basically, then, um, you know, go ahead and try it out. I think, I'm, I actually love this card. It's really, really sweet. And uh, for sending to a birthday card, even, uh, as this, or just saying thank you to someone who's done you a simply wonderful job. There you go. I hope I did a wonderful job. And if you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to know more about the Get Stamping Club, then do get in touch with me. And uh, all the details are underneath the video. And um, yeah, come back for more. Thank you for watching. Bye.